Hey guys, so today I'm here with the XG Cargo Gamma Mounted Sports Bar Side Storage Bags fitting all 2018 and newer four-door JL Wranglers. So storage space inside your Wrangler can be very limited, so finding creative storage solutions is always beneficial to taking adventures in your JL. So this option by XG Cargo is going to be perfect for that JL owner looking to take full advantage of their cargo space with a roll bar mounted system. So this option is gonna come with two large storage bags mounted up to either side of the roll bar and is going to be perfect for somebody who's looking to take extra camping gear or extra recovery tools out on the trail or whatever you need to take on your adventures while staying very organized since this does have interior pockets and interior storage. So not only is this gonna be perfect for interior storage, but it also is gonna have a Molly style attachment on the outsides, perfect for anything that you want to mount up outside of the bag as well or strap to the side of the bag. Now, not only are these gonna be very versatile, they are going to be very durable as well, resistant to any UV rays, water, chemicals, or even abrasion. So you can keep your top off or keep your top down and trust that these are going to hold up and last a very long time. So what I do really like about this in comparison to other options is the fact that this is gonna take up all of that negative space that you have inside your hard top or your soft top and keep that large storage space on the bottom in your cargo area open to any other large items that you may need to take with you on the trail. So this is gonna be very creative in the way that it's mounted up and very useful as well. So these are gonna be roughly $160 for both of the bags as well as both of the frames that they are attached to. And personally, I think for what these bring to the table that that is going to be set at a pretty fair price point. So in comparison to some of those other options for roll bar mounted solutions, some of those other choices may be mounted up a little bit differently and take up more cargo space than these will, or some of those will just be for smaller bags that won't have as much storage space as this. So personally, I think for $160, you're getting a very high quality product, as well as something that is going to be very versatile and last a very long time, making it well worth that $160. So install is gonna be very easy at a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you probably 15 minutes to get the job done with one tool. So speaking of that, let's jump into the install now. The tools that I used for my install were a quarter inch drive ratchet and a T25 torque socket, or you could use the provided tool. So in order to install our new cargo bags, we will have to install the frames first. So you are going to need either the provided tool or a T25 Torx bit. We can go ahead and remove this bottom bolt on our roll bar. Now I'm just using a T25 Torx socket and a quarter inch drive ratchet. Makes it a little bit easier, but you are provided with a tool if you would like to use that. This is the tool. So after you have this screw out, we can grab our frame. They are gonna be side specific, so you have to make sure that this tab is facing the inside. And then we wanna line up this pin with the hole in the roll bar, line this tab up down at the bottom over that bolt hole, grab our factory screw that we just took out, and then we can go ahead and reinstall that. Then we can grab our T25 torque socket or the provided tool, and then you can just tighten that back up. We can do the same thing on the other side and then grab our cargo bags. So what I also like about these is the fact that this has a rubber coating on it, so when it's sitting on the painted roll bar, it's actually not going to scratch the paint. And they're pretty sturdy. So our next step is to attach our cargo bag. Now these are also going to be side specific. You want to make sure that the Molly style attachment is facing up and that your straps are facing in. And we're going to place it inside the frame. You're going to have some Velcro that we're going to attach around this frame. You can just loosely attach it to begin with and then we'll straighten everything out once everything's attached. After those are attached, what we can do is take our strap and buckle that down and pull down on the nylon, tighten that down and then the same for the top one. You want to make sure that you're going underneath or 
above your seat belt. You don't want to interfere with that. And they actually have a small clip on here to make sure that that stays in place and it's not flapping around. And we can do the same thing on the other side. So that's gonna wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe, and for more videos and products like this, always keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.